I just got an email that Sonic the Hedgehog has partnered with none other than iconic breakfast fast food diner chain IHOP. Is, is that an accurate description? I've never actually been inside one. It's like when Shovel Knight partnered with Arby's and I was like, whoa, look at all that stuff I won't be getting. Ah, uh, multinational pancake house restaurant chain. Well, that's a touch more graceful. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Why IHOP and not, you know, Sonic? I can only assume it has to do with money and number of locations, but the question has been brought to the public once again. We got an IHOP sponsor before Sonic the Fast Food Joint. Think that'd be a no-brainer. It's like when they plugged Olive Garden in the Sonic movie. Because when you're there, you're family. The accompanying image that is stealing everyone's attention is this waitress Amy skin for superstars in the advertisement. And gotta say, it looks pretty good. I like the colors on it. Pink and blue is always a nice combo and... Wait a sec. That's Grandma Nut from Candyland. I used to get so mad playing that game, even though it was completely up to chance. Ah, you know what? Alice in Wonderland is probably a better comparison. Or, if you want to get darker. The message says, Celebrate Sonic the Hedgehog at IHOP locations around the country. Earn pan coins to redeem rewards like a retro Amy costume and Sonic Superstars from now through May 5th. What the heck is going on here? Well, we click the link, go to the website, and see a specially themed menu using those same Sonic 4 era renders. God, why? I can even see the jagged outlines where the image was cut out. To be fair, it's also on the food, so they probably just took a picture of the menu where you can't see those details in person and then blew it up on the website. If you click on order now, though, there's a different render on the following screen, which is a cool extra detail they didn't have to add. In fact, they didn't add it for Knuckles and Tails. Interesting. Speed into IHOP for our new limited time menu. Dine Sonic style. Power up your plate with a side of onion rings. Man. Someone had to, like, write this. This was someone's job to sit around and come up with Sonic breakfast one-liners. Where was that interview? First up is... Well, I think it's supposed to be Sonic, but it's Knuckles on here for some reason. Knuckles Chicken Sandwich, a fairly clever pun. A crispy chicken sandwich with bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado, cheese, ordered with a side of gold onion rings. Man, that actually looks good. Why did I record this while I was hungry? Sonic's Blue Blur Special. I can't tell if they missed the opportunity to call it the Blue Blurry Special, or if that was simply too much for them. It's clearly not beneath them based on what else they say, but... I don't know, maybe they have limits. Tails is 2x2x2, two by two by two, eggs, pancakes, and bacon. Just like Tails, everything good comes in twos. Yeah, except he's holding a five like an idiot. Dr. Eggman's Benedict. Wow. A 300 IQ genius like Eggman knows that Black Forest ham, poached eggs, and hollandaise sauce make for a superior meal. I feel like this could have been in one of the old manuals. They've said stranger. Amy's Sweet Strawberry Delight. Vanilla ice cream, chocolate syrup, and fresh strawberries atop a golden brown waffle quarter is a perfectly sweet dessert for an epic adventure. Dine-in only. Shadows, chaos, chocolate pancakes. Go ahead and be a little chaotic. A four stack filled with chocolate chips is the ultimate pancake experience. Yeah, your pancreas has entered the chat. So those are the meals, but what's with that Amy skin and this earn more, play more slogan, or those pan coins they mentioned? Well, if we click on join now, we enter the International Bank of Pancakes. Join our rewards program. As a member of our bank, you always get returns on your ingestments. <sighs> I was not prepared for that. Okay, so every $5 you spend, you get a pan coin, which is a crypto Pancake. I can't believe I'm reading this. You can trade in three coins for a short stack of three pancakes or a variety of other tasty assets in the stack market. Okay. Where do I sign up? There's a table with the three newest Sonic games all available for purchase using these pan coins with the prices right beside them. Origins, Frontiers, and Superstars. The game that I definitely will be reviewing, but I want to do something else first, don't worry. As well as the Amy skin for five coins. Now, if you take it on face value, you're going to look at this and think, wait, I got to spend $200 for a $60 game? No. You are buying $200 worth of food with a free game on the side. So, if you happen to be an IHOP regular and an avid Sonic fan, I'd like to know the stats on how often those two traits overlap, you're in luck. This is your time to cash in. However, upon closer inspection, it would appear that there are no PC versions in this menu only console. I looked up some other videos for more information, saw this thumbnail, and realized I should probably close my browser, and no, there doesn't seem to be any PC versions of the games, or Amy skin, available to purchase. Well, I 
Guess that makes my decision for me. Maybe they'll update that, like how Superstars initially said it would only be for Epic Games and then added the Steam option later. Or not, because it's a freaking IHOP crossover. I don't know, man. These April Fool's jokes are getting more and more elaborate. Last year, they gave us a full-on game. Now breakfast we're living in wild times. All I know is they didn't call it I Run, and now we gotta live with that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.